onboard Starship SN11 as it climbs. Oh, that's loud. Okay. Look at that uh, starship climbing up from out of the cloud deck in Boca Chica. All right. Starbase. You can see some of the landing legs. Let's see it again. They are over a kilometer up. Everything going well. Okay, so that was that orange Michael, cloud there. Yeah, this soup. They can't okay, do that so in this soup. We're watching the SpaceX feed here. Everything continuing to go well. Um, yes. Again, we are coming up now on the point where the first Raptor engine will be shut down. Um, this is normal, so you will see it shut down and immediately gimbal away from um, uh, from the spacecraft as well. Um, and that is anticipated, right? And then they will shut down a second one and climb up to uh, the 10 kilometer apogee or highest point in the flight on just the single remaining Raptor before doing the. Uh, the belly flop transition there. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm surprised that it's actually going right now. I'm my <laughs> yeah. <hands. laughs> me too. <laughs> That's definitely, definitely strange. <laughs> they do this in this Not this me. fog. This is the flex. They can do it in any weather conditions. <laughs> All right. Here we're going to shut down of the first Raptor engine, so we're going to be ready okay. for that. Let's see that. Alrighty. That view is amazing. Look at that. It really Thank is. you. Look at that. So cool. And here comes the shutdown. You can see the one the like. shut down. The other two gimbaled to compensate. Yep. That's expected. They have a confirmed good shutdown on that engine and a good remaining two. And you can see they're throttled now. You can see how um how much wider the expansion yes. <laughs> is. On those oh, that's soup down there. <laughs> pressure but also the throttling capability of the raptors as well is on is in oh, two on for them they will hey, switch off the another Mary one soon jack, i know y'all are both pushing feeds i do copy that and i'm watching y'all's feeds as well it looks like neither mary nor jack has a visibility um yeah. all of our cameras don't have visibility so we are watching spacex's on vehicle cameras here y'all looking down at the plume and the cloud cover that the fog layer yes completely like can't of. see the ground how and they will land in this kilometers in altitude so they are continuing the ascent on two engines all is well right now ah and the, yep and here we go coming up we have a shutdown a confirmed shutdown of the second uh raptor engine so they are on the final one and coasting yeah, so they're the hovering now so some things that will happen here um that remaining single Raptor engine will do the reorientation to the belly flop maneuver and will uh, around the same time that they also transition to the methane and liquid oxygen header tanks for the landing burn. Um, and that will happen right around the same time that Starship reorients to, um, uh, to its belly flop orientation. <laughs> it looks like SpaceX there has lost and they, uh, vehicle video. Yes. So we're gonna look yeah. at a palm tree. And I'm watching as soon as we get video. Palm tree. We'll <laughs> Come on, I want to see this. Yep. So they ship. are experiencing dropouts on the onboard cameras. Starship is at altitude at 10 kilometers and is um, hovering and beginning the reorientation maneuver now. Yeah, okay. We think. <laughs> yep, yep. Telemetry shows that the reorientation has occurred and we are belly flopping back to the ground. So <laughs> nothing is visible. Nothing. Us, okay, and here come the. Only the palm tree. All right, here comes the um, cameras back again. Yep. But uh, Starship is belly flopping, and they have good visual on it now. Starship is belly flopping. It's six kilometers in altitude and falling fast back toward the ground now. You can see the aero surfaces moving there, and those vapors are from the engine section. This is impressive. <laughs> Look at this. Look how it rolls. Yeah, itself. not much visible. You can tell it's horizontal because there's blue sky above, and then fog and clouds below. <laughs> yes, and that's only what you can see—the fog. Over the audio 
field the mist the and the as they had a guy <laughs> okay. nothing this really good. um so far so um we should be about a minute from the landing now give or take two kilometers in altitude maybe a little bit earlier than that but here we go through two kilometers so we're gonna two have kilometers three okay three engines and let's watch and see what happens with the landing <laughs> we will not really see much so here we go <laughs> engines are getting ready here they go no there was moved. an orange <gasps> look at that Whoa. yeah stopped did it our camera, it hit the ground. Okay, it's on the ground. No, I know what you meant. There is debris actively raining around the camera. You can hear it on the mic. There was uh, all sorts of pieces. You can see smoking pieces directly in front of the camera Oof. right there. That white thing down on the ground was not there before, and there was dirt flying. You could Our see the camera the yeah. framing moved. The camera got hit by something, Doss. The it did get hit by something. Yeah, I was I was watching it live and. All right, guys. Luckily, the camera was okay. Can you guys hear me? Jack, we can yeah. hear you. That <laughs> Pretty sure he said that was awesome. <laughs> uh... Well, wow. all right. So, uh, all right. Let me well, okay, hang on. take the volume hang down on. from there. So, okay. So now we have a little bit more information what could happen, but it's pretty sure it's hit the ground with relatively high speed and. Uh, these cameras are quite far from the vehicle and if the pieces was flying this far that means is not much left of the vehicle so yeah uh, that was kind of amazing in a very strange misty way um, so thank you for watching and then see you next time in the next lunch <laughs> I guess <laughs> all right bye